One of the biggest objections you may get in sales is the request about a guarantee. I just heard another very uh, well-known guru, I actually like him, um, and he took some of my material about guarantees, but he didn't really get into the mindset of it. How do we overcome that guarantee? What's going on in their mind? What are they thinking? Why are they asking about that? When a prospect asks a guarantee, it's, a, it's really a question of credibility. They don't trust you yet. You're a stranger. Okay, so they're saying, what's the guarantee and things like that? And you have to overcome and gain more likability and trust. That's the real issue here. When they do ask you for a guarantee, you say, you know what, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, that's a great question. If I was in your position, I would say the exact same thing. We don't know each other this, that well. This is our first meeting, our first phone call. Now, off the role play, what did I do? I didn't get defensive. I didn't get argumentative. I gave them what we call a stroke, even a little bit of nurturing. Okay. And the purpose of that is to make them think that you're not being defensive or argumentative with them. You're agreeing with them because what they're asking, if you think about it, is very reasonable. If you're selling high capital goods, you're selling cars, you're selling real estate, whatever you're selling, someone doesn't know you and they've been burned before by other salespeople. You wanna be a gut salesperson. You wanna do it differently. You wanna do it gut style. Gut style is about, is about being honest. It's about being, being authentic, transparent, giving an epic uh, presentation to people that resonates with them in them. You know, when they get off the phone, do you want them to say, oh, that sounds like a BS guarantee and everything? Or you want them to say, you know, I like that guy. He was straight up, he understood how we felt, and he, asked, and he addressed the issue. You've got to get into what's their oxygen? What are they thinking? This is called empathy. So when they bring up the guarantee issue, first of all, you congratulate them. You say, that's you know, if I was buying this or that for this kind of money, and I didn't know people, you don't know me as well, unfortunately, I'd ask the same question. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, you mind if I take some notes and you tell me, what are you looking for exactly in a guarantee? Now, this is where these other gurus always get it wrong. See, they, 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 they get defensive and they get argumentative. I always try to get on video with my clients all the time. I get on uh, FaceTime, Zillow, Facebook, a lot, anything I can get on to get on video. And I'll get out my little pad. And when you say to them, could you tell me what the guarantee is that you're looking for? Do you mind if I take some notes? And they see you writing. Or if you're on the phone, just tell them. Okay. What is that saying to them? means that you consider what they're saying important. They're pearls of wisdom. You're giving them a pat on an attaboy on their back. You're telling them, I want to write this down. This is important. I'm at this moment, I am your doctor. I am your lawyer. I am a true professional. See the amateur gets defensive, argumentative, changes the subject. We call that an obfuscation. You don't have to do that with guts. You can be totally honest. Now, the next step, I'm taking this step by step because I'm, I've heard other people do this and no one has a lock on this. Um, nobody really does this, this the, the right way. You have to understand the psychological makeup of these people, not just cute little phrases. So you go to them and say, what would you like to see in that? And you write them down. And then you go for the commitment. Even if you can't provide all these guarantees, they say ridiculous stuff. They want their money back. They want this. They want that and everything else. Then you go to them and say, if I could provide all the things you just asked for, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, what would you say to me next? Now, this is real important because now you're getting a commitment from them. If they give you, well, if I got all that, I'd say yes right away. That's good. Now you know you have a prospect who wants to buy your program or product or house or car or whatever, or, or in some cases, they will start to change the subject. There's that obfuscation word. They'll backpedal a little. Well, I don't know. I have to talk with my spouse about it. I have to check my finances. So regardless of the guarantee you give them, you're still not going to do business with them. At least you know that up front and you know how to deal with that. So you can either fire them, and guts, we fire the prospect. If they, hey, look, if they don't have the motivation, they don't have the need, they don't have the money, they don't have the authority to make a commitment, they don't have a character to give, give and keep a commitment, why do you want to do business with them? You just fire them, okay? So but if you do get, the, get it from them, and it is reasonable, and it's something you can do in your guarantee or a form of it, say, suppose I could give you this guarantee or do this. What would you say to me next? They say, yes. I can't. Uh, you want me to be totally honest with you, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect? 
Um, yeah, I mean, or, or just make you feel good. I can't, nobody can do all these guarantees. Sometimes I get guarantees where people want me to change their whole life, their whole family and everything. I can't do, I can only share information like I do with you good people on these short videos. This one's going a little long, isn't it? But it's a great topic. And I'm really grateful for when I see my competition, actually, um, they, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery, and, but sometimes they just don't understand guts. It's all about my psychological research. You can't just copy it. You have to understand it and explain it to people like I'm doing with you right now so you understand how to use it. So you take that guarantee. You say, I can't really guarantee that, sir, ma'am. Nobody, nobody can guarantee that. Only you can guarantee your success. I will guarantee that the quality of my products, the quality of my service, if it doesn't meet with your satisfaction of the results you're looking for, we'll give you another month for free or do some, or we'll take, we'll redo, we'll revisit this and redo, this again, uh, redo the whole product or service again. You can, add, you can even do a money back guarantee, whatever works for your particular business. But make sure if you get, and this is the takeaway point before I go, make sure when you get, uh, give a guarantee, when they ask for the guarantee, compliment them sincerely. That's where you, your thespian acting skills come in. Then you ask them for the guarantee. Get out the pad, write it down. If I could provide it, what would you say to me next? Get a commitment. Make sure that this is what they really want and they're ready to make a decision. Now, guts is all about going to the bank in one phone call. Sometimes two, but never three. And then you figure out what kind of guarantee you can give them, if at all, and then you work towards it. This is a business of negotiation of give and take. If it's a reasonable guarantee and something you can do, give it to them. You're gonna perform. I know it's one thing about you people, you work hard, you give good value. And so, you know what? If you give them a guarantee, what's wrong with that? Nothing. But if it's impractical or it's something that nobody can guarantee, then be honest and tell them that. Because nobody, nobody deserves success more than you. So listen, Use this strategy, give people great value, great service, ask them questions, acknowledge them, recognize them, stroke and nurture them. And you will see magic happen in your sales business all the time. This is Claude Diamond. Nobody deserves success more than you. I say it all the time because it's true. And I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. I mentor people one-on-one. -on -one. Go to my webpage if you want to schedule a free training session or you need a free, a free copy of one of my books, How to Sell with Guts or something like that. I'd be glad to help you. Take care. Thanks for joining me. This went too long. Somebody should have cut me off. Where's the hook? Bye-bye.